Today we're putting together the small steam engine and hopefully it will run. So today we're getting this small steam engine together and hopefully it will run. I did have to make a small repair and I mean small. Uh, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, but uh, all the parts are, are complete. It's not painted yet. Uh, I haven't really decided on what colors are really to paint it and things like that. I want to get both engines done to see what I'm going to do uh, before I do any painting uh, or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to get this one together, the aluminum one together here, and uh, run it, uh, I hope. <laughs> and the uh, brass one's not done yet. I still have a few parts to do on that. Uh, life got in the way and slowed me down there. And... Uh, my son is buying his first house and uh, he'll close this weekend and so we've been really busy getting things moved from his other location and and getting things prepared to uh to move in We're, we'll be doing some electrical electrical work in the one uh, large garage that's attached to this house uh just some uh small stuff so put 220 outlets in so he can uh, do his uh welding and and his shop stuff that he does uh, especially working with his truck and, and things like that. I hope to get a video uh, about his truck. We're gonna we were talking about that and 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 show his truck truck a little bit what he's done to that. And I think uh, you guys might be interested in that. It's a it's a pretty impressive what he's done to it. And uh, yeah, it's for off road. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, let's uh, show the engine and uh, where we where we began and. Uh, right up to where we are now. Pat Wicker there up in Oregon. Now these are castings for a small steam engine. And this is the flywheel, cylinder, all the, I mean there's some parts here that I have the drawings for all this stuff uh, also and uh, so there's parts I have to make, you know, con rod, piston, these are the, for the, the gland or the head here. It has your logo on there, gears. And uh, this would be the gland end. And it's a little wobble engine, right? Flywheel goes, um, da, 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 da. yeah, this goes over here and then the flywheel's on this side and uh, such. This is where we pretty much started. Uh, I modeled first the engine to figure out all the clearances and such like that. And this is an animated model, obviously. Now, with my uh, other little series I had going at the same time uh, with the engine, we, we modeled what I called the fusion engine. So with the fusion engine, we worked our way through building the engine. And we started with the base, and here it has the bushings already inside. And we built the of course the cylinder assembly the cylinder cylinder heads and the pivot rod we did a piston assembly with the piston rod right there uh, and uh, pistons on the inside of course we can't see that right now and we also did the crankshaft assembly right and uh, so that all uh, functions right if i can get it to turn right anyway it, it functions and we we worked our way through that whole series, uh, so everybody at home, if you had Fusion, you could work yourself along with it and build your own animated model and drawings and all that good stuff that goes with it. But like I said, I also had done a separate one uh, for myself to work out any interference issues, uh, porting. You can see here, you can see how you can see the porting in there uh, and the piston movement and and all that's so you don't have any interference issues uh, with heads if i had to change any dimensions and so as i went along i found i had to shorten this boss uh, some and i had to modify a few few things i had to put a i put a depression in the cylinder head for clearance for the nut um uh, things like that uh, there was just you know a few issues and i wanted to get the shaft aligned with the center of the uh, bosses on the castings uh, so I had to adjust a few little th minor minor adjustments really uh, but I wanted to look I wanted it to look real good 
So that's uh, where I went on this side. Uh, and then, like I said, we did the fusion drawing, the fusion engine in a whole little series, uh, working our way along at the same time, kind of uh, in conjunction with the actual building of the, of the model. Uh, so we have all the models, uh, parts are all constructed. And uh, of course, I've had to test fit and made sure everything was right. Uh, and I think it's going to be just fine. And we're going to now do a final assembly and uh, put it back together again and make it run. Getting ready here to assemble the aluminum engine. And I discovered that I had stripped this hole or when I tightened it, I stripped it, you know, test fitting and stuff. And so what I've done is I've drilled this out to 832 and tapped it. And then I took an 832 brass screw right here and I made a very tiny threaded insert. I drilled this and tapped at the center of it to 440. I'm going to Loctite that in there and uh, should uh, fix the hole. I've made a real quick little uh, inserter tool. We'll just uh, screw this on this 440 screw. And we'll insert that in until the top is uh, flush, you know, like so. We'll just screw that in. That screws in real easy. And just make that so that is below, just, just flush below the surface a little bit. And it won't be sticking out over here. All right, our cylinder has uh, dried. And I can just uh, unscrew the insertion tool. You can see that little nice little brass insert in there. It came out really good. And uh, it barely, it doesn't even stick out on the other side, just to the edge. There. I like that. I like how that came out. I probably should have done it to all of them. Our little repair is done, and these are all the parts. Uh, you know, this is the cylinder head was a casting, the cylinder was casting, flywheel casting. Uh, gland head was a casting and of course the base was a casting. You see how we machined the base is all machined and the ports are right here. So those are the ports and then our bushing is already, I've already put our bushings in. This clearance is just for the screws of the tensioning device for and pivot rod for the cylinder and the bushings are in place here and that was all machined and then the other side and uh, the very bottom I machined this end of machined end these are the ports uh, for the fittings to go in we'll just run down to the parts so over here we have a couple of nuts for locking the tension on the pivot rod a couple we made two little caps for the springs for the spring right here and that was trimmed to a nice little length to provide enough tension and fit the rod this rod is, of course, was two pieces we did, we made. And where we press this into here tight, and then I, I actually uh, put this in a surface grinder and ground that square with the shaft, that surface. Uh, and there are four little screws for that. And then we have our four little screws for the, that cylinder cover. And we have our cylinder, of course, and we have our four screws for the pivot rod and our ports are there. And the bore and our eight holes. And they come right here to the very end, the ports, which is just right. And we have our, uh, this is our crankshaft. Our crankshaft right here with our, our crank web and the shaft and then the your crank pin and we have a little flat spot for the flywheel to affix to with a set screw but we machined all this and all the troubles we had here and we had to insert this which you can just barely tell there's an insert in there and we uh, we put the uh, set there's a set screw here to lock it on the shaft then over here we have a gland nut and the gland head and four screws for that and our piston rod, and it has a bushing right here, very small bushing. And then our piston right here, and our nut to hold the piston on. And over here, I uh, look at the picture, we have a couple of fittings I made up, uh, air fittings 
to fit this uh, little hose to hook our air to. So let's uh, put start putting it together. We have our crankshaft and we're going to give everything a little wipe. We're going to put some really light uh, sewing machine. This is like sewing machine oil. It's really, really lightweight oil. We're going to put a little bit on there. Oh yeah, smooth, smooth, smooth. Oops, grab the right parts here. Let's set screw and tighten that up. Almost no end play, just, just enough so it doesn't bind or anything like that. Look at that, it's been so good. Now I made some uh, little uh, gaskets for these out of just uh, manila folder. This stuff works great for very thin gaskets for things like this. I think we'll first we'll put on the uh, cylinder cover here for this end. Now we'll put together the piston and such. Uh, so first off, it has to go through this, through everything, so the gland has to go on. I'm not going to put any packing in. That has to go on, and we'll screw that down. That's a, that's a, it's a, it has a little tiny, tiny bit of play in that. You know, it's a sliding fit, and pretty, just a little bit of play. Get our gaskets arranged here. And then our piston needs to go on. And then the nut. And I'm going to put a drop. I'm going to squirt a drop of Loctite right there. Just the tiniest bit right on the threads. And just snug it on there. All right. And the piston can go in and we will put a few drops of oil in here. Get our gasket aligned. And our witness mark. I have a witness mark also on this. Now on this end I'm going to slip some of these brass ones in here just to give you a, a look of what oops, what both of them might look like. The heads are on and we have very good movement. Nice free floating piston there. Now for the, this here, this doesn't really matter which way it, uh, alignment goes, but I did put a couple of witness marks there just, just to make sure I put it back the same way. Okay, so it's all secured. Now we'll put a couple drops of oil on this shaft, a couple drops of oil on the pin. And we slip, we'll slip this in and then just slip that on there at the same time. There we go. Look at that. Perfect alignment. Oh, yeah. I think we, we got to cake this up all the way. This could have been probably a little shorter, I think. Oh, there. That, well, that works. So that could have been probably a little shorter boss. And a one spring cup, one spring, one spring cup. And the nuts. And that, you know, really doesn't need to be very tight. It just needs to hold this, you know, against the face here. And, uh, Looks, looks really good. Looks really good on there. All moves. Looking pretty good. And we got a couple fittings there. We can, we only really need probably one, but we'll put them both in. I made two. I might use just one and then use one on the other engine. For direction, 
if I put it on one, it's going to run one way. If I put, I put it on the other, it's going to run the other way. Let's uh, go here. And we'll put some air on it. We're just going to hook this on the end of a nozzle. And let's see if it runs. Oh, I have to give it a little bit of... There we go. Oh, yeah. Right off the bat. There we go. Put the pressure on it. Whoa! Okay, too much. That's the built-in pressure relief mechanism. But Look at that, that thing runs perfect. I can control the, by the exhaust, I control, can control the speed. I should put a little valve on the exhaust. Anyway, that is uh, perfect. Hardly any air. Then we put the air on the other side and we'll run it into reverse. Oops. Whoa! There we go. How fun is that? Runs very smooth. All right, well, there we go. That engine is done. Happy how that running. Yeah. And uh, happy with our little repair we had to do and that came out good. All right, thanks you guys. And uh, stay tuned for finishing up the brass one, brass engine, and uh, it's a whole different kind of engine with the beam and stuff. And we did a different crank web, so we'll uh, be getting that one wrapped up here pretty quick. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please click the notification bell. And uh, we'll have some more, more videos soon. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.